Hey YouTube, today we're going over the installation of DaVinci Resolve on Linux. So now in case you're unfamiliar, DaVinci Resolve is a freemium video editor for Windows, Mac, and Linux that is designed for people that need a professional quality video editor. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install it. Now I want to give a huge disclaimer before I start. My computer doesn't have the required hardware to run DaVinci Resolve, so I can't show the actual use of the application. However, However, I can show the installation process, which is the whole point of this video. And that leads me perfectly into the system requirements, which are, first of all, you need to have at least 32 gigabytes of RAM. 16 gigabytes would be a bare minimum, but 32 is required if you want the application to run as expected. And you also need a dedicated graphics card with at least two gigabytes of video RAM. If you have anything less than that, don't even bother. DaVinci Resolve probably won't run at all in terms of after you install it. And by the way, in case you're curious as to what specs I have, I only have 8 gigs of RAM and I only have an integrated GPU. But without further ado, let's get right into this. All right, so now first thing you're going to want to do is go to blackmagicdesign.com slash product slash DaVinci Resolve. I'll have that link in the description. And then once you're there, you're just going to go ahead and click download. And then in our case, we want the Linux download for DaVinci Resolve 16, which is the latest version at the time of recording this video. And by the way, this is the paid version of DaVinci Resolve called DaVinci Resolve Studio, which includes some extra features if you need more professional tools than what the free version offers. But anyway, we're just going to click on the Linux download, and then you just have to fill out your personal details. And by the way, anything with an asterisk is mandatory, and also state is mandatory. Now, of course, if you're scared to leave this information on the internet, don't worry, you can use fake information here. It's not like they'll ever need to contact you. But anyway, you're going to fill all this in, and then click register and download, and then it should start your download. Of course, you may need to confirm the download in your browser. But anyway, I've already downloaded the file. I've got it right here in my downloads folder. So now it'll come as a zip file. So what we're going to do is open it up. And then for at least most of you, you can really just completely ignore these installation instructions because I didn't really find them helpful at all. But you're going to extract this DaVinci Resolve dot run file. Just click on it, then click extract. And then I'm going to extract it to my downloads folder. And then once it's done extracting, you can simply close out of your archive manager and then simply double click on your DaVinci Resolve dot run file and then it'll bring up the DaVinci Resolve installer. Then we just go through this as if we were installing a Windows application. So just click next, next, agree to the terms of the license. If you want to actually read this, you probably should. But anyway, just click next and then start install. And then you'll have to punch in your password and then it'll start installing DaVinci Resolve. So now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. And it may prompt you for your password again during the installation process. And actually I didn't speed up much cause that's actually how quick this went. But anyway, you're just gonna click finish. And now that DaVinci Resolve is installed, you can of course close out of your file manager. And then if we go to our application menu, we can see that DaVinci Resolve created its own folder in our application menu. I'm not quite sure why it created a second one with the same name, but anyway, this actually also installs a couple other applications made by Blackmagic Design, the company that develops DaVinci Resolve. But anyway, you can of course see that DaVinci Resolve is there along with the DaVinci Resolve panel setup and capture logs. But anyway, if you ever want to uninstall DaVinci Resolve, you can just click uninstall DaVinci Resolve, which shows up in your menu just like any application, and then it'll bring up the DaVinci Resolve uninstaller, similar to a Windows uninstaller. And then we just go through this like you would a Windows uninstaller. But anyway, you just click uninstall. You'll need to punch in your password, and then it'll go ahead and uninstall. So now this will probably take a while, so I'll probably speed this up. And actually, it didn't really speed up anything because that's actually how quick it went. But anyway, once that's done, we can just click finish. And now if we go back to our menu, you can see DaVinci Resolve is gone. If we search for DaVinci Resolve, it's not there. And that is how to install DaVinci Resolve on Linux. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.